Okay, everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the Phantom Intruder Challenge from PicoCTF 2025, and uh, it is located at this link over here. So what is this challenge all about? So Phantom Intruder is a easy challenge in the forensic category from the PicoCTF 2025 event. So it's labeled as Web Solver, Web Browser Web Shell Solvable. I don't think that's the case. But uh, it says here that a digital ghost has breached my defenses and my sensitive data has been stolen. Um, scary fa scared face, computer, laptop, emoticon. Uh, the mission is to uncover how this platform, Phantom Intruder, infiltrated my system and retrieve the hidden flag. To solve this challenge, you need to analyze the provided PCAP file and track down the attack method. The attacker has cleverly concealed his moves in a well, in a well timely manner. Dive into the network traffic, apply the right filters, and show off your forensic prowess, and unmask the digital intruder. So find the PCAP file here, and we've got uh, a link. Network traffic PCAP file, and try to get the flag. Okay, this is what we're going to do. So typically, we solve these challenges using the, the Wireshark program, and we can't solve it using the, uh, the web shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on the link, and we're going to select Copy Link. After that, we're going to go into our Kali Linux machine, and we're going to download the file. So we're just going to use the wget command, and we're going to paste in the file address over here. And after the file has been downloaded, we've got uh, mynetworktraffic.pcap. Okay, so to um, to read any file using its default program, you can use this command right here, xdg-open, and then the name of the file. So when you give this command on the command line, it'll use whatever application is um, supposed to open this type of file by default. And in this case, it's going to open up the, uh, the Wireshark program. So we got Wireshark over here, and hmm. This is a bit small. Does anybody know if there's um if there's a way to make the Wireshark interface larger to increase the size of the font? Let me see if I can do this real quick. Let me just go into the settings. Edit preferences. Preferences, is there a section for font? Control plus plus says Cypher Freak. Let me give that a try. Uh, Cypher Freak, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> if this works, it's, um, it's a big thank you. Okay, hold on. Let's get out of here. So Control++. Plus plus. Oh, wow, it works. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, okay, this yeah, this is great. Uh, let's see, so we see... Hmm. Okay, so what's going on in this um, what's going on in this file here? So what we need to do, hold on, I've got a little, <laughs> I've got some um, some a little presentation file for for this. So Pico CTF forensics. This one is Phantom Intruder. Okay, so this time we're talking about Wireshark and we're gonna order packets by time. So in this challenge, we see a series of packets if we arrange the packets by time order. So we got time order over here and we can take the hex content of those packets and we see what looks like a base64 encoded string. So we can copy the contents of the packets as an ASCII string to extract its contents. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and go back to Wireshark. So we're going to order by time over here. So we can uh, go ahead and click on the time column and it's going to order all of the all the packets by, by time. We're going to see a series of 12 length, 12 length um, packets over here. And we're going to see that there's, um, there's 
some Base64 encoded information in here. So starting with um, packet number, what is this? Packet number 22. And then we're going to go in reverse order. Packet 1, packet 16. Actually, packet 1, packet 10, packet 4, 18, 3, and 2. We're going to copy the contents over here, right click on it, and then copy as ASCII text. After we do that, we're just going to go back to our our terminal here. Whoops. And we're just going to paste in whatever is there. So this is the actual um, base 4 encoded string. The rest of this information here we don't need. So we're just going to get rid of that. We're going to echo uh, dash n. And then we're going to base 4 decode this information. So if you decode it on, hmm. Oh, you know what? OK, OK. What we need to do is we need to we need to include everything here. Hmm. Hold on. Let me look, look at my notes. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I see what's going on. So not everything here is going to be base 64 encoded. So surprisingly, this is the portion that we need to uh, base 64 decode. So this is the uh, this is Pico CTF that's uh, base 64 encoded, and the reason why we have to start from the C over here is because in the packet, the packet starts from the letter C over here. So we have to pay attention to this. So we would do the same thing to packet number one. Right click, copy as um, ASCII text, and this also starts with an E. Paste it in there, and we need to get rid of everything before the E. And then we start getting parts of the flag over here. So we've got part of the flag. We can go ahead and get more. So this one over here, copy this as ASCII text. And I think this one started with the letter B. So we, everything before the letter B, get rid of that. And we've got more of the flag. Let's go ahead and get the next one. So there's a few of these. I think there are four of them left. So let's go ahead and get the next one, which starts with the letter X. OK, and OK, we got more of the flag. Let's get the next portion. Over here, it is, this starts with the letter Y. More of the flag, okay. Couple, couple of, couple of packets left. This one starts with a capital letter N. Okay, and uh, keep in mind, you probably shouldn't be copying my flag because everybody's flag is going to be personalized and um, there's going to be a random set of hexadecimal that's going to be different for each user. And uh, that's why you should be doing this yourself instead of uh, copying whatever my flag might be. So this is the last one. Copy that, paste in that content. Okay, oh, it's FQ, right? It's FQ equal equal. Okay, so the very last, the very last packet just had the um, the closing bracket, uh, the closing squiggly bracket. So let's go ahead and put this all together. So we're just going to copy this. We're just going to paste it in here, and then this part, paste it in. The next part, and then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Paste that in. Copy, paste this in. Copy, paste this in. 
copy, paste. And then last thing is the closing bracket over here. Okay, so it says Pico CTF, it wasn't that easy TB, TBH. It wasn't that easy TBH. Well, I don't know. It depends on um, on who you, are, who, who you are, I guess. Anyways, let's copy this flag and let's submit this to finish the challenge. So over at Pico CTF, in the challenge description here, paste in the flag, click on submit flag, you're done. All right, so everybody, this was a guided walkthrough for the Phantom Intruder Challenge from Pico CTF. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.